Hey everybody, I'm Tyler Bailey of Bailey Law Firm, and today I want to talk to you about a few things that you do not need to do after a car wreck that could ruin the value of your case. I'm a personal injury lawyer, and I help people all throughout the state who have been injured in car wrecks, and I make sure they receive maximum compensation for the injuries. So pay attention to the things I'm going to talk about today. The first thing that you need to make sure that you do not do after the wreck is leave the scene of the accident without getting a report of the accident from the police. Immediately after the wreck, the first thing you should do is call the police. The police will uh, respond to the scene of the wreck and they'll make an early investigation and determine who contributed to the wreck. You're going to need a copy of the accident report to show that the at fault driver is the one who caused the wreck, who uh, caused your property damage and your injuries. You're going to need to give a copy of the accident report to both your insurance company and the at fault driver's insurance company. If you leave the scene of the wreck without an accident report, you run the risk of the at fault driver saying later on that uh, maybe you caused the wreck. You know what, they may even deny that the wreck even occurred at all. So it's really important that you get a document of the wreck from the police and you use that accident report to make sure you're taken care of. You're gonna to need to make sure that your injuries are taken care of, your medical bills, your lost wages, and your vehicle re is repaired. And without an accident report, you run the risk of that not happening. Now you also need to make sure that you do not give a recorded statement to the at-fault driver's insurance representatives. The at-fault driver's insurance representative and the insurance company is not going to be looking out for your best interest. They're going to try to use this recorded statement to twist your words. They try to maybe contest liability. They may try to uh, twist your words and make it seem like you were at fault. They may even try to uh, twist your words and make it seem like your injuries were caused by something else. So make sure you do not give a recorded statement to the at-fault driver's insurance company. You need to contact the personal injury lawyer as soon as possible and allow them to be the party to uh, present your case to the at fault driver insurance company. Now also, you will need to report your wreck to the at fault driver insurance company, but do not speak with them about your injuries. The adjuster for the insurance company is going to try to attempt to link your injuries to something else, not the wreck. If you talk to them about your injuries, they may also try to uh, minimize the significance of the harm that you uh, sustained from the wreck. Let your personal injury lawyer speak with the at-fault insurance company about your injuries. Do not speak with them about your injuries. I can't say this enough. Now also, please make sure that you do not sign a medical authorization and give it to the at-fault driver's insurance company. They're going to say that they need the medical authorization to take care of your medical bills. But in all actuality, not only are they going to request your medical records and bills from this wreck, they're probably going to try to request five years worth of medical records. And they're going to attempt to try to link your injuries that you sustained in this wreck to something completely unrelated in the past. They're going to use this medical authorization uh, to try to support their insured, the at-fault driver, not to try to help you out. So do not sign a medical authorization for the at-fault driver insurance company. Now also, please do not post about the car wreck or your injuries on social media. You run the risk of the at-fault driver's insurance representatives attempting to use your social media posts against you. They may try to say that um, the wreck was not as severe by the way you posted on social media or by the way you talked about your injuries on social media. So do not post about your wreck. Don't talk about your injuries. Uh, just leave social media in the car wreck completely separate. Do not post about your injuries on social media. Now, one of the most important things I would advise that you do not do is try to take on the insurance company by yourself. You need to enlist the services of an experienced personal injury lawyer. If you've been injured in a car wreck, feel free to reach out to me, Tyler Bailey at Bailey Law Firm. We help people all throughout the state who've been harmed by drivers uh, who are at fault, and we'll make sure you receive maximum compensation for your injuries. So, if you want to learn more about me, please feel free to visit my website, baileylawfirmsc.com, or you can call me at any time at 803-667-9716.